Hello, my Tracy's Total Wellness community. Welcome into our spring retreat, springing into the yin energy, the shadow dark, and soaring into the yang energy, the light. Today, we're going to be exploring what the spring equinox is all about, that time where we are halfway light and dark as we move into more of the summer energy. Some of you might be here live, some of you might be here in the recording, but we want to be here for you and know that wherever you're at listening into this, that your presence is felt in the community. Today, as we're going through, we'll be, as always, segmenting some of the recordings so you can come back to some of the rituals, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of what to expect. So as we begin in a moment, like I always do in community, we're going to do an intention ritual. We're going to set the stage for the experience together. And even if you're listening to the recording, I encourage you to find the space for yourself. Um, I have my little candle here that we're going to light. Um, I have my oils. So you can, even in the recording of this, you are able to find that ritual for yourself, knowing your intention um, is heard within the community. We'll also be experiencing more yin energy as we begin. So we're going to talk about more of the dark energy. We are moving from the season of winter, which there is more dark than light. Um, we hit this midway point now. We're on the actual spring equinox. It was half dark, half light. And now we're moving into the summer season of more light. And so that's how we're going to have this experience today for the retreat is we're going to start with honoring yin, the dark the shadow, moving inward, having these experiences inward. There'll be some sharing about it, journaling, as well as meditation, so that we can step from that energy into more of the light, right? Processing what needs to be cleaned up, the spring cleaning, as some people call it. As we go through that lovely transition, my first guest healer will be leading us in a sound bath to allow your nervous system to even take the journey from the yin into the yang energy. So for a moment, I wanted to introduce our guest healer, Jackie, to have her share a little bit about the work she does. Um, and anything she wants to share about the sound bath, we'll be receiving a little later. So Jackie, feel free to unmute yourself and share with the group. Thank you so much, Tracy. And as always, thank you for inviting me into your space and your community. It's always an honor and privilege to be here with everyone. Um, so my name is Jackie Metzger. I live in Nebraska and I love all things healing, magical, mystical, spiritual, um, just all the things that help us to connect deeper to ourselves. And I incorporate sound healing to help facilitate that. So um, I love using a variety of different instruments. I'm always getting new ones. Um, it's, it's a super expensive and wonderful modality to be in. <laughs> um, but I love it and I love sharing it who, with whoever wants to receive it. And so today, like Tracy said, we'll be going from the dark into the light. And so we'll just during the meditation sound healing today, you'll experience some of that. So I'll guide you a little bit in the beginning for probably like half of it. And then the rest of the time, it'll just be instrumental and you can go on whatever journey your soul takes you on. I'm excited and I wanted to bring Jackie in. She's been a wonderful part of our community, but the opportunity to just be in a level of receiving, you don't have to think about it. You can just be in a space of presence. Sometimes when we're setting intentions or we have goals, we're in a new season, it gets very linear and analytical. And today it's about listening more to your wisdom. And so a great way to do that is to allow one of your senses, your hearing, to just help you to step into being able to maybe listen more to your nervous system and your higher power. So Jackie will be guiding us. So as we make that transition, imagine like the sound bath is like the spring equinox. It's that halfway point. And when Jackie completes, we're going to be really stepping more in to the yang energy, the activation energy. After Jackie shares her experience, we'll have some reflection time and stepping ourselves into a little bit more intentionally in the yang energy. We'll go on a nice little break. And on that break, you'll be able to 
take some time to nourish yourself. You'll be able to also prepare uh, yourself for the next part of the retreat, which will be more of the yang energy. I'll be guiding us into a yang inspired movement. Um, some of it will be breath work and some of it is some yoga movement. Um, it's for everybody and everybody um, to allow now your body to begin to move more, that yang energy, we're, we're moving this activation. And after that, we'll again have some reflection time on, okay, what are we ready? The seeds that have been planted, what are we ready to grow into? What is spring budding forth? And now that we're in more of the yang, the light energy, we'll after that have our other guest healer, um, Rita, aka BB Soto, do a group pull, a card pull to see what is available to you for your higher powers message of spring. And so I'll have Bibi Soto share a little bit about what she's going to offer today with this card pull. Hi, everybody. It's good to see familiar faces again and meet with new ones. I'm happy to be here. Um, so we'll be looking at some oracle and tarot cards today uh, with spring, uh, the spring equinox being that um, halfway point, like Tracy said, it'll be, we, we can really look at kind of the duality and some of the, you know, like opposites and opposing forces as we move from yin into yang in the seasons. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the tarot. We'll look at the Oracle cards. It'll be a general reading. So it'll be something that maybe won't resonate yet today, but, uh, we have the whole season and I'm excited to see what comes up. Mm, thank you, Rita. Um, AKA BB Soto. Uh, she's been a friend of mine for so long. Sometimes I, I still call her by my friend name. <laughs> Um, and she gives really wonderful, insightful card pull readings. If you've noticed today with the guest healers I brought on, it's finding ways to get out of our minds, out of that linear analytical, as I mentioned, and having messages from cards for me can always allow some of my messages from my angels, my higher power, my wisdom can come through in these messages when maybe the noise here is stopping me from hearing it. Um, and my intention with bringing on these guest healers is to help you to embody a little bit more of the version of you you want to step into this spring. And then once we close on out, we're going to have some conversations around community. Think about a garden. A garden isn't just like the one tulip <laughs> or the, you know, the one tomato. A garden is about things growing together. Sometimes navigating the weeds that come in or protecting against the external forces, but coming together. If you think about a garden, or I like to envision in spring when the tulips are blossoming, they're all together in a group together. Um, and so we're going to come together within community at the end. I'm going to explore how community can be medicine for you as you're blooming um, into your life this season of spring. And then after that, I will be sharing a little bit about what I'm up to, as well as um, Bibi Soto and Jackie will be able to share a little bit how to get to know them. So that's an introduction to what to expect today. And I can't wait to get the ball rolling. And as always, I love to go into a visualization for this part. And so I'm going to spotlight myself and actually go live into our private Facebook group so that they all can set an intention um, for their spring season. So wherever you're at, find yourself in a comfortable space. I'm on spotlight. None of you will be here, so you don't need to worry about that. And grab anything you want. This could be an essential oil. Um, this could be one of your favorite crystals. This is my amethyst. Call it my amethyst tooth. <laughs> anything you want. You could grab a scarf. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to adorn myself with more spring colors. Um, feel free to get comfortable. So I'll give you all a moment. And I recommend um, to set the space for a um, journal afterwards. So make sure something's handy that you can write with. All right.
Welcome on in all of my Tracy's Total Wellness community. We're together here, some of us live, some of us in the recording, and some of us in, even in my safe social sanctuary of Total Wellness Women group. Wherever you're at, this is a container to set an intention for the season of spring. In that honoring of spring energy, I also want to just honor in maybe a message, a message from all of our higher powers, our angels, our ancestors, or even just what the group message could be with one of my favorite community card decks, How to Love Yourself by Louise Hay. And as I pull this card, I want you to just be open to the space of what's available today. For me, this card is about giving us a message of what to be open to at this experience that we're having together. What's a message that could be great for all of us to help us to process some of this yin energy and the yang energy. As we move into the spring season, the light is going to become brighter. We are, though, in the equinox energy of halfway dark, halfway light. So today, as we explore our rituals, we're going to first honor shadow, yin, going inward. What is ready to be taken care of? compassionately healed and nourished so that we can step into that yang, more active light energy. So holding that space, let's see what our message is for the community. Very clear. Thank you. Each person is a part of the harmonious whole with joy, I recognize my perfection and the perfection of life. Each person is part of the harmonious whole. Well, to me, that's a message of the community, all of us here together. For me, having space where I'm together with other people makes it a little bit more possible for maybe my dreams to come true. So I honor all of you and I honor that intention with lighting our Tracy's Total Wellness community candle. And this candle will burn throughout our experience today. And all of the light that we create today will be housed here in our lovely little vessel. And now that the light has been ignited, we're honoring this intention of the harmonious whole. I want to honor your higher self. And so we're going to get quiet for a moment. We're going to move into a little visualization. Um, I pulled for this retreat adaptive. This blend is called the calming blend. But for me, it is the balance of yin and yang energy. Aromatherapy is something I use in many of my practices and many of my programs because our sense of smell is such a strong, powerful sense. It'll immediately guide our mind into the therapeutic qualities of the oil. And so this oil has for me the yin qualities. This is the florals, the lavender, the magnolia. It also has the balance of yin and yang, which for me are citruses. Citruses soften my heart, but they also like open up and enliven my emotions. So we have wild orange. We have neroli. And then we have more of those earthier blends to always keep us grounded wherever we're at in yin or yang. And for me, that's the rosemary and the copaiba that's in here. And then the yang energy. For me, that's mints, things that open me up. And it is blended out well with spearmint. So this is why I use this oil. For me, it is the balance of the yin and the yang, the dark and the light, and staying grounded. So that's the oil I'm going to choose to use. Whether you have one or not, we're just going to all together take three deep breaths. So wherever you're at, find your way into a comfortable seat and close the eyes. If you're utilizing an oil, you'll cup your hands over your nose. And then we'll all together deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. And one more deep breath in and deep breath out. And for this visualization, allow your intuition to guide you. 
Do you feel like your palms want to be down? It's more of that yin energy, grounded. Your palms can be up. A little bit more of that yang energy, light inspired. If you're feeling you want homeostasis with both of these, you can also keep your hands at your heart or even just clasp your hands together down by your legs. And then just tuning into your breath for a moment as you breathe in. And you breathe out. Taking the time to honor the sacred space you're in now. Imagine the doors to your rest of life closed for a moment. Your responsibilities, the other people, they'll be there waiting on the other side. But for just right now, connect into this space. And as we're now into the season of spring, spring, that budding energy, the blossoming energy, opening up from the seeds that were planted, the surrender of the winter. Now, the doors, the windows open, the air flows. That refreshing experience that nature gives us is beginning to bud forth. The season of spring begins with the equinox. An equinox is a time of the balancing of light and dark. The equinox is also a time of reflection of what occurred since the last equinox, so the last six months. With each equinox, it gives us a time to reevaluate as we're at that balancing of light and dark. The spring equinox is coming out of the winter solstice, which was more of honoring dark. The sun was not out as much. The moon was there surrendering in energy. And so with this equinox of spring, notice what was ready to be healed within the dark. Throughout today, we're going to explore nurturing, nourishing, and holding space for the shadow, the dark, so that we can fully embody the intention we have for spring, the light that moves then into the summer solstice where it is lightest, longest. So as you explore this time, as you transition into more light, I want you to check in, as I call it, your spiritual posse. This could be your guides, God, angels, universe, ancestors, mentors. Help them guide you to what is your intention for the spring, a season of spring. Feeling yourself together in our circle here in the Tracy's Total Wellness community, knowing you're safe to explore and be. But also feel yourself in your own space, your sacred space within you. And trust the messages that start to come forth. What's my intention for spring? You might start to feel a certain way. Images might flow through your consciousness. Allow whatever comes through to just be a witness and curious of. And as you flow now, in this curiousness, start to bring this intention to words if you haven't already. Allow the words to flow through. And as they do, start to notice the one word that just really lands, if at all possible, if there was one word for spring. What might that word be? 
you can be curious and open and find a word and breathe in and see, ooh, yeah, that sits good in my gut. Mm, I get that intuitive tingle. And for a couple of moments, we're going to breathe so we can all land on our intention for spring. And I'll guide us out in just a few moments. And then landing on your word, start to deepen your breath. Start to allow your lungs to fill up with your word. Your heart beats throughout your entire body with your word. You are filled with it. And as in a moment, we'll begin to come out and see through the eyes of this word. Honor this quiet space you've had here with self. Honor the community here and your spiritual posse for guiding you. And to find our way back, we'll take three more deep breaths. If you utilized an oil, place your hands back over your nose and together breath in. And this time sigh it out. <sighs> breath in. Ah, and one more. Ah, and you'll start to wiggle the body, moving a little and taking as long as you'll need to find your way back out. You'll eventually open your eyes, now getting to see through the eyes of your word. Now, if you're here live, please feel free to drop your intention as well as where you're zooming in from in the chat. If you're listening to the recording, feel free to journal it down and private message me anywhere you know or share with a friend, as I call it, one of your sacred sisters. If you're in our group together, please feel free to share your intention. But I'll give us a moment to journal any insights that came and wherever you're at, feel free to share your intention as we honor this beautiful season of spring. Knowing wherever you're at, I am holding your intention as is, and I will personally message you or hear live. We will be going around the room in a moment to share so we can honor each one. And we see some here live coming in. Nourish, be the light, a light, rebirth, explore with purpose. Ooh. Uh, for me, the word trust came through, which I'm uh, has been coming up a lot, <laughs> but I can't wait to share with all of you that are here in person about that. And I know we have one of our lovely uh, women, Helga, uh, just joined us. So Helga, we're just going around sharing our intentions for spring. So feel free to get grounded in, taking as long as you need. And um, whenever you're ready, you can type anything in, but no rush. All right. So I'm going to remove spotlight now. Um, and we're just going to verbally share for those of us that are here live. Um, anything that you want, you can share where you're zooming in from. You can share a little or a lot about your intention. The beauty of having a little bit more of a smaller group is we get the container to share and just be together a little bit more. Um, so know you were all meant to be here for a reason um, and take up space for a moment. <laughs> you get to be a part of the community. Um, and I'm just going to, since it's Zoom, I'm just going to call on each of us as I see you in the screen um, and feel free in your, if you're in a quiet space now, you can unmute. Um, as you have noticed throughout Tracy's Total Wellness events in the past, I like everybody to just acknowledge each woman's intentions. If you're in a loud space, um, no worries. Just feel free to unmute when I call on you. 
Um, and I'm just going to go from the lovely women I see first on the screen and I see Carol first. Uh, this just is so appropriate for me right now. Be the light in all you do. Uh, couldn't be one word, but light. Um, and I had a conversation with a beautiful soul this today. And he was telling how dark the world was and how much deception. And I've been pondering his words ever since then. And I thought, you know, we are in this world. And, and today, each person is part of the harmonious whole. We are part of the whole. So it's so important to be the light in the space we're in so that the whole can see the light and become light too. Darkness is dark until the light shines. So if we shine our light and they see it, then they're not in darkness anymore. So now I'm getting ready to respond to him, um, not to live in the darkness, but to let the light shine. And I encourage all of us to let our light shine. Mm, thank you, Carol. And so oh, well. it is. Be the light. Um, and that resonated. So there's um here in my office, I have um this beautiful quote. I think it came from like my doTERRA essential oil magazine. They have really pretty quotes there, but it says sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. And I, it really um, resonated with what you shared, Carol, because I think some people get stuck in the dark feeling like they're buried. But if it's the energy that you're talking about, you're in the dark to plant yourself to blossom into the light. It's where we honor the, the dark when it's in this essence of being planted. And when we're in a space of feeling buried, it's almost like we can get stuck in that space. So I wanted to just share that with you. Um, I'll Thank take you. That so fits with what I yeah. said. Um, I'll take a picture of it. Um, and um, actually, you know, I'll just write it down in the chat, but I can also take a picture of it. It's one of my favorite quotes, but um, I feel like that's exactly what you were saying. So I wanted to share that sometimes when you're in the dark, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the chat while other people are sharing so we can keep moving. But that was beautiful, a beautiful way to start, Carol. So thank you. Um, and I see next on our screen, Cindy. There we go. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's such a great quote. That's so cool. Uh, calling in from San Antonio. And we do have a lovely spring day, which is awesome. After like nourishing rain and everything. And nourish is actually my intention uh, in so many ways. Tracy and I had our call this week, um, our one-on-one. -on -one, and that kind of rose to the top of our conversation. It's nourishing your body, nourishing your soul, and then those around you as well through through that. And so it just, uh, that definitely rose to the top. There wasn't anything else with it. It was just like, <laughs> here it is. So it's just beautiful. So nourishing. <laughs> yes, I would a hundred percent agree with that, Cindy. And Cindy's um, in our group experience, sacred sisterhood, and it includes some one-on-one -on -one work. And we, we did have a profound a call. And I think for you, it was reframing what nourishing meant to you. Um, and so having that as your spring intention, um, I definitely honor that. So let's honor Cindy with her intention. Thank and you. so it is. Thank you. Denise, I see you next. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, zooming in from central New York and watching it snow and stick to the grass and slush on the deck out the big, out the big uh, kitchen window. Uh, my word was a light and Carol, I just completely resonate and feel and have experienced to the, the same uh, personal interaction, uh, what you shared today. So let us be a light as a verb um, in the light that we are as a noun. So thank you all. Thank you, Denise. Uh, and I know that that's been your journey of stepping into more of the light, uh, your wise woman doing the ancestral work, which sometimes is not easy. <laughs> um, Denise is another beautiful sacred sister. And uh, 
Yeah. And sometimes it's like life gives us the experiences we have to grow our souls. And sometimes it's like, all right, God, I don't know if I want that lesson. Can I get a redo? <laughs> Time, out. <laughs> Time out, please. Time out. Um, but Denise, you have uh, constantly shown up and been courageous and vulnerable um, and committed. So I think the light intention you have today is very spot on. So let's honor Denise's intention with, and so it is. Okay. And we have our lovely um, Rita, who is going to be doing our cards later in my conference room, right down the hallway, because we're playing with some hybrid stuff and there's going to be some women popping in in person a little bit later, but I would love to give you the space to share your intention. Well, thank you. Um, I think the last Wise Working Women, uh, I think it was at that meeting, I, I had cartographer as my intention um, because 2023 was a year of just constant upheaval, like just could not get the ground under my feet to save my life. So um, I found myself in December in this I don't know what I'm doing. I, 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 I don't know how to do this, but I'm going to do this moment. So I, I chose cartographer and then I was reflecting in the meditation and realized that I think I put the cart before the horse. Um, a map maker can't draw a map until after they've explored the land. So um, I'm exploring with purpose this time. Like I've, you know, I, I often like to explore and have that open minded wonderment but this time I'm like I'm really exploring with an intention of doing something with this exploration and and building it into something so that's that's it explore with purpose mm. and so it is yeah. yeah I think that is a beautiful insight and I think exactly what you shared as we came together in the winter season um it's like going in sometimes we're, we're in that like reflective space when we want to just figure it all out. Um, and it's like the desire for what we want. And then life just gives us another opportunity. So great share. <laughs> um, but exploring with purpose. I think the explorer, like the observer, like these are great roles to be in, especially as we're in the season of spring, right? The birds are chirping more like, oh, what's that noise? What's coming alive? So great intention. So we'll honor your intention with, and so it is. Thank you, Rita. Jackie. Um, I love hearing everyone's, um, what you're sharing and so much is in resonance. And so thank you all for sharing. My word was, um, is rebirth. And I had this visual of mother earth being pregnant and, um, I've recently moved to Nebraska. Well, it's been seven months now. And so it's been like um, dark night of every night of the soul <laughs> like for the last seven months. And so I'm very much looking forward to coming out of the dark and going into the light. Um, yeah, I just looked at my weather app and we've got snow coming here as well. So I'm with you in New York. Well, I wish I was more East Coast. Anyways, so um, yeah, it's rebirth. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you, Jackie. And I think yeah, rebirth and it's, it's sometimes it's not the way we expect. It goes unplanned. It can be messy. You know, you know, Mother Nature right now in some of the areas you're in isn't all like birds chirping, sun shining, tulips blossoming. Um, and sometimes coming into the light or as you know, that quote says, like when we get planted, sometimes we pop out of the ground <laughs> in the ways that we do. So thank you for that intention. And we'll honor your intention, Jackie, of rebirth with, and so it is. Helga. Well, hi, everyone. I'm Helga. And I am also from upstate New York as Denise. Uh, I am not looking at the snow right now. <laughs> I'm avoiding it. Um, but um, the word that... that that is in my head right now is right. And um, Tracy, you and I had a conversation about that, about how, you know, the shift that I'm doing right now that is happening naturally with, through all the hard work, you know, with you um, from a survivor point, 
now to shift to a thriver point. Um, and uh, so, you know, I'm trying to be more um, enjoying the moment more than worrying so much about the future or, you know, sticking with the past so much. Uh, and it has helped me, you know, uh, to appreciate more what I, what's, what I have now in front of me. Like for example, this little dog here. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's my loyal companion. And uh, one of the reasons why I was late. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. <laughs> pick him up from grooming but um uh but yeah I think that's the word that resonates for me thriving yes I mean, we just had a call this week Helga so I definitely acknowledge that as your intention and I think it's a wonderful intention for spring as well is all of us especially in our darkness can feel like we are surviving stuff and 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 then start to identify as a survivor versus just being in the space of thriving. Um, so for me, what I shared with Helga is it it can be a space where you're still taking care of the wounds, nurturing and holding space for you, but you don't have to identify with your wounds, the wounded person. You can identify with the warrior, with the one that is stepping into thriving. So Perfect intention, Helga. And we're going to honor her intention with, and so it is. So it is. And Thank yay, you. Caroline showed up. She's in the office. Woo um, I know that it's um last minute, Caroline, but I know you had an event last night and you've been in the space. Is there anything you want to share, like a word or something that you want to honor for the season of spring and having an intention for what spring is? I am getting two words right now, joy and love. So love first, but then joy as well. Uh, so yeah, that's my intention. Awesome. And so it is. So it is. And love. Wonderful.